and I'm here at the Ferguson Library. I'm doing their quilt tour, but first I'm going to walk back out to the front because I want to show you that they use quilt blocks and hung them from the ceiling and I want to show you what they did for decorations first. So let's get started. So I'm here at the beginning entrance and I'm going to tilt you upward so that you are not looking at any of the residents in the library, but I just want to show you these decorations. Hello. So that is the display that's in the ceiling. Let me zoom out. <laughs> so that's the ceiling display. And now I'm going to take you into the actual room and show you some of the quilts. So this is just an overview of the room first. I know. And we will just start at the beginning. This is called All White. It's by the Blessed Teresa of Calcutta Quilters. That's why we always put our name in the wrapper for these. <laughs> 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 we got stars on the rails, yeah, white curl pen. Oh, they always have one quilt in that one. Oh, they but you knew me when I was worse than I was. I like that. 
This one is called Reaction by Dottie Vaughn, and I am going to insert at the end her whole vision for this quote. Since it is an awesome story. Thank you, Dottie, for doing that for us. And we also have Buildings of St. John and James by Blessed Teresa Quilters, Calcutta. So let me show you some of the blocks of clothes. Okay. And it depends on how you want it. And the edges are finished differently and everything. And their quilts are all hand quilted yeah. as well. Hi, stranger. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. <laughs> so here we have John Ember. He has done the Declarations of Independence. And just wanted you to see this. And he actually pinned this himself with the fabric marker. He has beautiful handwriting. And he did very minimal quilting. As you can see, like he's got stars in here, more like attacking, and then he has like straight lines coming off of some of the areas. But very nice work. <laughs> this he also submitted with his quilt. And then we have by Blessed Teresa of Calcutta. It's called Small Blocks. It's a trip around the world. Again, it's hand quilted. Let me just show you some of the borders here. It's huge. This one is by Noah's Ark by Sarah Carr Jordan, my friend. <laughs> yeah, just beautiful work here. I'll show you some close ups. She's beautiful. She used her sewing machine to do the blanket stitch around all of her applique pieces. Just beautiful. Over here we have Sharon Winterberg has a hand cross stitch with hand quilting. Very beautiful. This is Serenity by Lenore Schuff. It's actually a two-sided quilt using one of the Oriental fabric pieces. I don't know if it was a panel or not. Maybe it was just a piece and she cut out her, her squares and rectangles. And let me just show you the backing as well. It's not very bright out here. So this is a panel on the back. And then she filled in on the top. Oh, that's by hand. And she even has a kimono. I'm gonna cover up her label. A kimono as her label, which is just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> just gorgeous. And then we've got a counted cross stitch piece here. That's on fabric by Sharon Winterberg as well. Beautiful work. This is a tapestry of the library, I think, showing Ferguson, Missouri. Very nice as well. This is Sarah Carr Jordan's African Serengeti quilt. 
It's just beautiful. This, this is one that Such large prints on the animals that she found. Very nice. This is called Split Squares. It's by Lenore Schuff. One of those use them up projects. Here's the Charleston Trio by Sue Trump. Very nice. I think it's hand quilted as well. Yes, it is. And this is Zipper Quilt by D. Gannon. Very bright. I love colors. This is Fireworks by Muriel Tosh. So that's the same thing. You just got to wipe this out. And then it This is Dresden and Patches by Gail Wasonen. And then this is. Beautiful colors. All batik fabrics. Very nice. Next up is Blocks by Janet Kramer. I bless it to Reese Cutter Quilter. So Jeanette Kramer must have done the blocks. And then they put it together and pieced it. Again, hand quilted quilt. Very nice. And this is the most beautiful quilt in the whole display. It's by Miss Tijuana Mahone. It's called X Blocks Ribbon Star. And I did do free motion quilting on this. And I have a flap here. And then you can see my border quilting as well. Okay, and then I do have the library program chair. And I just want you to introduce yourself and tell what your vision is for this show and how it came about. Yeah, my name is Rachel. I'm the adult services librarian here at the Ferguson Library. So I really wanted a show that we could showcase some of our artists. We do a creative at Ferguson arts display every month. We invite artists from all over Ferguson to come and just show their art. But we needed something to show a lot of the artists that get overlooked because of it. And we really wanted to show show that there's a lot of beauty coming out of Ferguson, even if other media sources aren't really going to show that. So we thought, well, this is the greatest way because who are the most beautiful artists? Well, quilters, of course. <laughs> so we decided to have this quilt show, and it helps. I'm a little biased. I am a quilter myself. I have my piece hanging up as well. So we just wanted to showcase our artists in the beauty in Ferguson, and we thought this is the way to do it. Well, thank you so much. It's a beautiful show I know you all did a lot of work to do this and I as a quilter really appreciate it um, the thought process the fact that you wanted to do it and then when you were actually getting into it learning what you didn't know and still moving forward I appreciate that because it's a lot of work to do a quilt show and you were totally unaware of all these things and learned as you go and even talking about next year what you can do better so I appreciate everything that you've done for this show well thank you it's definitely going to be every year from now on annual awesome <laughs> Now I'm going to show you the quilts that are in the center. We've got a Moonbeam Odyssey by Vicki Unger. Just beautiful. I haven't even seen all the quilts. I've been in the room for about an hour or so and still haven't really paid attention to every quilt. This is Mirror Mirror by Kathy Parks. <laughs> and then we've got Twisted Jacks by Kathy Parks. It's beautiful. <laughs> 
couple times and like some hell in the house. Cool. This one is Blessed Blessed Jets by Rachel Brando, the actual person we just chatted with, the program chair for Ferguson Library. Some of them very nice. She says, my first quilt, I made it for my mother. My brother joined the Air Force this past year, and this embodies our pride for him. Awesome. Love it, love it. Basket of Flowers by Sharon Winterberg. This again, thread work, a little bit different. She's got the excess <laughs> cross stitches still, but it's a little different. The Mysteries of the Night by Barbara Bass. Beautiful. <laughs> Totally different, got a few art quilts in here. Meet Me in St. Louis is also by Carol Peck. It was made in 2015 for a Vile Valley Quilt Guild challenge in which each quilt needed to reflect the theme of Meet Me in St. Louis. I scanned the photos on the fabric transfer paper and quilted it particularly by hand and partly by machine. Oh, partly by hand and partly by machine. I enjoyed choosing the photos as much as I love choosing the fabrics for the quilt. Very nice. This quilt here is called It Takes a Gill to Raise a Quilter by Judy Cooey. It's very nice. I love this. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> and she even has some text here. If you would like to pause your screen here and read what she's saying here, it would be wonderful. But just beautiful work. I love the over stitching of the organza, I'm going to assume that is. I'm not sure. But it's beautiful. Then this one is a penny for your thoughts by Judy Cooey. Beautiful, crazy quilt blocks with a center focus fabric. Flowers Everywhere by Viola Martin. Very pretty. Viola has been in some of my quilt show videos when we go to Paducah. And the Machine Quilter Showcase, she's also been there. This is called Brainstorm by Susan Trommler. Very pretty. Trying to see if it's hand quilted. Yes, it's hand quilted. Very nice work. Here is Sue Trommler right there. She just walked in. <laughs> Baskets of Flower by Irene Epsmeyer from Marshall Wood. We got so many different varied styles. This one is Walking in Rhythm by Cynthia Bonds. Give you some close up. I think Cynthia does most of her stitches by hand. And then it's machine quilted probably by a long armor. Very nice. Beautiful work. We got three quilts on the tables. So we'll talk about these. And I will have to go around to read, but I think this one is Blocks for St. Patrick's by Blessed Teresa Calcutta Quilters. This is Embroidered Roses by St. John and James Quilters. Beautiful. Look at this work. It's beautiful. And then this last one is Fantasy Birds by Sheila Davis. 
And it's machine embroidered blocks. Very nice. I wonder if they are need a good design. I don't have any information on that. But it looked like it's on satin, which is pretty cool. Very nice. And I do have one other quilt to show you. It's on a table. So let me go show you that. It's an art piece. I want to get your picture. Okay. Okay. And then this one is 30 Days in Spring by Laura Saunders. And this is the information that she submitted with it. So you can pause your screen if you want to read this. And then she's done like the 30 days of spring as far as she has a robin that comes every year and plants themselves on her window ledge. And so she has started a collage of quilts for that. So they're building their nest. Then they have their eggs. Then the robin sits on the eggs. And then the babies are born. So very creative. So we have Dottie Bond here and she made this fantastic piece here. And she has such a beautiful story behind it that I thought that I would let her share it with you on camera. So go ahead Dottie and tell us about it. The quilt was started when I was cleaning out my mom's house here in Ferguson and I'm one of four children. I was the only child that was left to clean out the house and it was a very emotional experience. We grew up in Ferguson but we did not start out in Ferguson. We moved to Ferguson three weeks before Dr. King made his Nobel Peace Prize speech which is where this quote is from. Um, it was so hard cleaning out my house and going through things that were from my siblings and it just it was hard so I started the concept of this quote was supposed to be the quote from his I have a dream speech about don't judge by the color of one's skin but by the content of one's character and when I went online to research the quote to get it right I found this quote and the more I read of this quote and of his speech, the more it called me. And I just had to do it. It was um, to the point I could do 20 letters a day. It's all paper pieced. And then I decided the words for Ferguson and Dallas, Orlando and Boston, which were all cities of violence, but for different reasons. Mm -hmm. And that's why those were put in the border and about a year after I had finished the quilt, only a couple of friends had seen it. It was a very private piece. The um, shooting in Las Vegas happened, and that's when I added, why won't it stop? Uh, so it's kind of, it, it was a quilt for me to heal. So just beautiful work Thank and you. just very great creativity. In your backgrounds, are those just crumb blocks that you are those paper pieces as well they're crumb blocks okay I paneled it out I did all the paper piecing planned it all out and then for what I refer to as the border which you can't really see they're just it's basically like a crazy quilt block okay very nice but it's beautiful just gorgeous and I want to say every fabric is text in the background. Every fabric in the background is some mm -hmm. type of text or writing. Mm -hmm. And I did it intentionally. To me, it was all the different voices that you heard. Mm -hmm. And people were talking, but not necessarily listening to each other. Exactly. I the, get the whole concept of this quote. Yeah. This is just, just awesome. The red, there's actually three different colors of red that were used mm -hmm. in the letters. And I did it to represent blood that was spilt. Um, the quilting is what is people refer to as shattered glass mm -hmm. and very appropriate given what happened here in Ferguson. Mm -hmm. And even the background color on the text, I intentionally did all different colors. I didn't try to find you know, all white background text. I wanted it to be all different colors pulling mm -hmm. together to make a hom homogenous background. Well, it's just beautiful. And thank you so much for sharing that with us because it's more 
when people really understand what it is that you're trying to put into a quilt, you know you were successful in the end, and it's just Thank wonderful. You. Did an awesome job. Thank you. So thank you all so much for being with me. I hope you all enjoyed the show. I'm very proud of Ferguson community, proud of Rachel for succeeding with this project. And I will definitely come back next year. We'll definitely be a part of the show. Any kind of assistance that she needs. And uh, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you.